Hello and welcome back to Former Joy. Hi, my name is Greg and today's video is going to be a little different. I was hired to build a 8 foot chain link privacy fence for a customer of mine and uh, this is the process of you know me going through building it. First of all you gotta mark out you know your location of posts. I had to deal with asphalt and concrete in the area so I rented a jackhammer and jackhammered you know just just enough just enough to get a post in the ground I don't want to make it too big of a hole I just did what I needed so I own a rhino post pounder uh, but the uh, the customer insisted that I got help and the guy in the orange and the guy running the loader is his employees. I usually do everything by myself or try to. If I can't do it by myself I won't do it at all but this was a big job for me to take on by myself. So it was, it was nice to have some help during this process. Now, I put all these poles in, a lot of them went in crooked, so I made up a little uh, a tool there to help me straighten out the poles. I ended up, I did this for most of them, a lot of them I manhandled, you know, and just put my back into it, which wasn't the smartest thing, but uh, I got them all straightened out. Like I said before, this is a process, this project is something that, you know, don't try to take on by yourself. It, uh, it definitely it is more work than... Oh yeah, that's way better. So, this here, I lose it. I was I was rolling out the wire I was gonna try to put it all together and I realized that my supplier only sent me half the order so I didn't know it was like another three four days to wait and I was trying to do this all all at the same time all you know but it, it just it's sometimes Sometimes when you try to plan this stuff out, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work at all. So in order to put these together, you got to, they give you extra parts and you got to thread them together like you see here. I believe they're 25 foot rolls. So you roll them out and they have, you, you roll that in there and then you got three extra uh, plastic inserts that you just force up in there now for me you know at the time I was doing this my back wasn't bothering me you know I, I was doing a lot of you know a lot of projects a lot of fences um, at the time that I'm recording this my back isn't so good anymore so I look back at this and going Damn. So here I'm putting these inserts in. You just gotta slide them in. You gotta be patient. A lot of them didn't go in right. They got dog ears on, uh, on the one end and the other end is flat. And that helps out a lot. Don't ever try you know, going flat, flat, you know, at the ends. One side's gotta be dog-eared for it to slide in there. Just gotta be patient. It's very time consuming. So, like I 
like I said, everybody left, so I'm thinking of my own way to do it. I rigged up this. I've got that up so so far with by using this. So there you go, most of it's up, most of it I used the pickup and a uh, strap like you saw. I hope I can push this up. A great deal of time was spent just trying to get it up. I ended up going back and tying everything off the next day, but I just wanted to show you, you know, what I did you know the solutions I came up with doing it without a tractor stuff you know if I was to recommend it I, I do recommend this fence I like it it's for privacy it's it's great uh, definitely definitely would get more help next time now I built all those gates and the panel off to the right I still got to come back and cut the top of that post and put caps on so I'm not quite done with it uh, I came back the next day there's a lot of bubbles in the side I came back and tightened everything up and made it look good Coast Guard's going by and there we go. Thanks for watching. Thank you. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I will be doing more fence videos later on. Thank you and have a great day.